Good evening, Falcons, and welcome to the Wasteland. It's Tacoma 15 here, and welcome to another edition of the COD Hater Comment Roundup. This is a series where I go on Call of Duty videos and find all the whiny little bitches, well, doing what they do best, bitching about everything and how stupid they truly are. So we have some good ones today. Let's start off with Orange1522. Didn't know anyone still even played this. Um... There's actually an average of fifty to 60,000 people on at any given moment, which is almost triple Battlefield Force. I'm just pointing that out. 60,000 people is someone, and that's just at a time, you know, at once. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people, even millions, are still on this game. So, to say that is completely fucking ignorant. Pirano says, oh look, more micro-packs. It's funny how they can spend time and effort making micro-packs, but when it comes down to fixing the game, An Infinity Ward is missing in action. Okay, well, if you knew anything, dumb shit, you would know that all the micro pa the micro-packs, as you would like to call them, or micro-DLCs, um, they, they are all made before the game comes out. They have all these things in their inventory. They're not making them right there, right now. And also... There's a, there's a separate team. If you actually knew how a game was made and knew anything about software engineering, you would know there was one team that made micro-DLCs and one team that actually worked on fixing the game. Then there's another team that works on different parts of the game. You see, if you knew anything about making a game, you would know this, but you don't because you're a dumbass. Let's see. Mr. Guest Stalker, which is a wonderful name, and he has a great picture to go along with it. Why play this game when there are hackers on it? And please fix the spawn points in this game. It's still broken. It's a very unplayable game, and it's not even fun at all. Um, well, here's the thing. I've been playing this game on Xbox One since late December. Um, uh, up till now, till the beginning of May. And I have not seen one hacker yet. Not a single, solitary one. Okay? Now... Even if I had seen one, or two, or even three over a five-month period, that still wouldn't be a big deal, because games get hacked sometimes. Every game gets hacked sometimes. But this theory that is just crawling with hackers 24-7 is a load of bullshit, and it's usually for a bunch of people who can't play the game, and they think they can't get a kill, because people have mods on, and people are hacking it. <laughs> Let's see, number four. Movies1239 says, Disliked because stuff like this should be free of charge. You know what else I'd like to be free of charge? KFC, hookers, cars, pretty much anything. I'd love everything to be free. But that's not how this shit works. They make the game to make money. And you pay money to get things. That's the way the world economy works. I'm not sure if you're completely fucking stupid, but... I guarantee you there is no games that have every DLC free. That, 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 that is not a thing that happens. I, I guarantee you. That's a stupid request. Let's move on to X and whatever the fuck. I can't pronounce these people's names. They're so desperate for money. Smiley face. That's how they make their money in extra slots, not on the actual game. Smiley face. Really? Yeah, they're desperate for money. That, they're really, they're desperate for money. Even though COD Ghosts, even though Call of Duty consistently, not just Ghosts, is the best-selling game every year and is historically one of the best-selling franchises ever that's made an enormous, ridiculous amount of money. They are desperate for money, and that's where they're making their games in micro-DLCs. That's where they're making money. You hear that, guys? They, they, they're not making any money on the actual game that everyone paid $60 for. No, they're making money off the $3 microtransactions. That's what they're going for. That's, that's someone's using their brain right there. Let's see. The Weasel 2012. When COD Ghost came out, it was one of my favorite COD games. Now with the DLC they're releasing, the constant updates to the menus, Extinction is now Alien Extinction. And overall, it's starting to suck. I just want to point out one of these guys' complaints. I mean, this is pretty typical COD bullshit, whatever. It's boring, and the DLC, blah, whatever. I love that one of these guys' complaints is Extinction is now Alien Extinction. Holy shit. Stop the presses. Call the FBI. Extinction is now called Alien Extinction. It's like when they stopped calling Nazi zombies Nazi zombies and started calling it Zombies! It just 
fucking ruined the game, didn't it? It just, it just fucking, it's crazy. Like, it just like, fucking, fucking get real. That's really the petty shit you're going to complain about? Like, Jesus. Santa Claus's Santa Claus boss. Very creative. The characters have no emotion on their faces. Well, okay, you see, I don't, once again, people who complain about shit like this have no clue how a game is made. What the character models are, are static models that don't move, and they move because they're given animation, okay? But what you don't understand is that their faces cannot move all the time. That's not something they're capable of. They're just static models. And just getting them to do a running motion and all that shit takes an enormous amount of time and manpower and knowledge, okay? And it's actually amazing some of the stuff they do, they, they've done with that. So, you're the, they don't have any emotion on their faces. It's just, I, want their, I want that guy's nose to move more. The game sucks because the guy's mouth doesn't move and his eyebrows don't move and I don't like it. And it gets me frustrated. Let's see. COD PK2. Activision. This is what happens when you fire Jason West and Vince Bella from Infinity Ward. Okay, if you knew any... I, mean, I guarantee this is some kid who was not even around when MW2 was the thing. Um, well, not really MW2. Uh, basically, if you actually knew your game against you, you know that, that Jason West and Vince Pella left Infinity Ward. They were not fired. They left on... They left because they were not getting along with the rest of Infinity Ward. Um... It, yeah, they did not get fired. That's just a complete misrepresentation of history. Here we go. LOL, deleting the negative comments, A. Eh? Is that because you know that you're committing daylight robbery? Okay. <laughs> As you can clearly see from this video, the negative comments are, are all over the place. And they are not deleting negative comments. That is a fucking thing you're pulling out of your freaking fantasy land. With nothing to back it up whatsoever. That's completely ridiculous. And last but not least, Fatal Pivot Strike says, This game is so bad, lol. I'm about to sell both my 360 and Xbox One copies. The game is so bad, folks. He bought it on two different consoles. Genius. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll be back next week because... The Cod Hater comments never stop flowing, and I will always be there to make fun of them. Thanks for watching, and peace for watching.